Hey everybody, thank you for uh, tuning in to my Eurovision 2021 reaction review video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at uh, Hurricanes Loco Loco from Serbia. I don't know if I do really, really like this song. A bit at the beginning, yes, obviously cheesy, but it does give context to the song. That is so much more, more better because, so much more better? Is that English? So much better the moment all right and actually sometimes songs at eurovision are saved in that last minute how am i gonna kind of do a kind of top 10 predicting how who's gonna get out of semi-final one it's gonna be an absolute bloodbath okay so serbia are resending uh, hurricane this year who should have been representing serbia last year in eurovision 2020 before it obviously got cancelled so hurricane gave us um Asta la vista thing. Like, by, by, just before Eurovision, I think after Eurovision, I think I, I had listened to like the fourth revamp. Like, the revamps weren't like um, dramatically different. But the last version I heard was like, it, it, it was very, very, very good. Like, I quite liked it to begin with anyway, right? What is there not to like? Girl band, awesome. Um, although, girl bands tend to, in regards to historically, I mean, from the United Kingdom, uh, rest in peace, precious, say it again, <laughs> which I thought was a really good song. But there are other kind of uh, girl bands that have, 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 have done Eurovision in the past that also haven't done as well. Um, can I think of any? It's like, oh, um, oh, Blimmin' Hell. What's the, um, was it No Angels from Germany? They didn't do particularly very well. Um, uh, who are the ones from Spain? Last catch up. Um, Charmed. Was it Charmed from Norway? They did all right. Um, XXL from Macedonia. <laughs> if you um, if you want to go away and watch a really interesting past entry of Eurovision, watch XXL from North Macedonia. I guess it was FYR Macedonia then, wasn't it? Um, yeah watch it and then just know that I don't mind it, I quite like it and that will obviously just in tune you with my musical tastes. So um, anyway, so I'm glad um, we're going with uh, this band. So this band I've followed for a little bit uh, before they were announced as Serbia's entry last year. Um, hold on a minute. They did win, didn't they? Yes, yeah, sorry. They, they rightfully won last year. Uh, they... Um, they, uh, it was a national competition and they won. Um, they beat other kind of entries with Hasta La Vista. Um, and I remember uh, watching that, this was like the, the original version, like I said, they kept on producing it and kind of going away and just adding more elements to the production. And I remember watching them dance and sing live and I was like, wow, like, first of all, you're putting on a show and second of all, you are singing live and singing really well. Like. This, this girl band is actually brought together with some fantastic female vocalists. So the reason why, sorry, the reason why I know them is because I um, I really like Sanya. Uh, she's one of the members. She's uh, She had represented um, Serbia a few years ago and I had been following her on Instagram, Twitter, um, because there was a few interviews that, that she did and I was like, you're cool. Um, and I really liked her song um, that she did a, a few years ago. And so then I found that she joined this girl group. So she, I, I'm, I'm familiar with another one. So she is the daughter of, um, oh, what's his name? The guy that represented Montenegro a few years ago. Um, but I, but she's also got very good stage presence because she was on the stage with him. And I think she's been a backing vocalist for other Eurovision entries as well. And there's this other one. So I saw that Sanya joined this girl group, Hurricane. And so I'd listened to a, uh, a few songs that they did when they kind of first started. And I was like, oh, they're cool. Um, but I wondered whether it was just kind of like a, um, whether it was just a kind of um, project or whether this, this had longevity, this girl group. This girl band is, is here and here to stay. And when I saw the national final last year and they were singing and dancing, I was like, wow, first of all, I knew listening to the um, re record, the, 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 the tracks that they'd released that all three can sing and sing really, really well. Um, but that was the first time I'd seen them live. And, you know, in the U United Kingdom, we're, we're lucky to have the girl band Little Mix, who have gone down to three members. <laughs> but like, I've seen them a few times and they are fantastic at singing. Well, first of all, they're all amazing singers. 
Second of all, they're all amazing singing live. Thirdly, they're amazing at singing live and dancing. So what I mean by that is another girl group that we've had in the United Kingdom, Saturdays, I've seen them once or twice and they sing, but their, their movement is very kind of minimal, <laughs> but Little Mix kind of really put on a show and, and, and their, their vocals do not um, decrease in quality. So when I saw Hurricane in the National Final last year, I was like, wow, you're giving me Little Mix vibes in the sense of you're really putting on a show and you're singing live and it sounds just as good as the recorded version. So um, I really got behind Hustle of Easter last year. I remember, I think the semi that they were in, I don't, I think it was the weaker of the two. So I, I, I had kind of, you know, strong um, hopes, but also thoughts that that would qualify into the final and then see what happens. Um, and then Eurovision got cancelled. So I was a bit worried whether Serbia would give Hurricane the, the ticket because I know their national final is a, is a big thing and it's, it's, a, it's a high ratings uh, show. And just to give someone the ticket for the next year, you're sacrificing that national final. You're therefore sacrificing a successful show for that, for that um, broadcaster. So I was really relieved <laughs> that, um, that they'd given Hurricane the go ahead um, to represent Serbia in 2021. Um, so I listened to it once, as I have with all songs really in 2021, and I haven't listened to it since. Haven't seen the video. I remember really liking the video of Hassel of Easter Baby. I, why did I need to add baby? I'm always a bit nervous with the videos this year from artists because of COVID, like what can they do? But I've already seen Back in Dancers, so. Um, I love the giraffe. <laughs> what I love about this band is all three ladies have such a good voice and they add something different with their voice. They've gone for colour. For a few. They've stuck with the same sound as Hustle of Easter, right? As in, within the same family of sound. Which I think is perfect for them. Sanya. She's awesome. Big fan. She was blonde last year. She changed her hair colour. <laughs> Which is confusing for me. I just prefer it when um, Balkan entries sing in their language. I hope they keep it in Serbian. This is what I was missing. I was going to say that earlier with this video. Like, where's the choreography? Obviously, there will be on the stage of Rotterdam. I like this dance break. Because it does slow it down. Because it was not getting repetitive, but it adds that different element. That's a moment. This song just, it goes fast. And that's what you want with the Eurovision song. And... As in, I'm enjoying it. No. Oh, just their vocals, they are just so unbelievably talented. For me, um, I think that is just as good as Hustle of Easter from last year. And I liked Hustle of Easter last year. Um, but I do like upbeat numbers. Um, I am a, a sucker for an upbeat number. Um, but this isn't just a throwaway upbeat number, which is um, 
is easily forgotten. They're not going to allow you to easily forget this song. Like I said, they are fantastic vocalists live and they can dance, put on a show and sing live and their vocals still be extremely strong. Um, and yeah, this is a, a great entry for Serbia. Um, I'm so glad. I was a little bit worried. I didn't know what Hurricane would come back with. I assumed that they must have had a good song for the Serbian broadcasters to trust them to come back without a national final. As I said, the Serbian national final is, is a kind of a big number show. So, you know, the broadcaster are sacrificing something there by trusting Hurricane. So I, they must have maybe have heard this song before they made that decision. Uh, to let them go. Um, I liked the video. There was a moment where I was like, I, I want to kind of see dancing is in, in, in sync, because we had that with Hasta La Vista last year in that video. But then with that dance break just before the chorus, we, we got that then. It gave me my moment that I wanted. Um, and I'm glad they did that. I'm glad they did that dance break to slow it down because it was particularly da -da -da -dum -bum -bum -ba -da -dum -bum -bum. It, it is a little samey, a bit repetitive, but I said with uh, Sweden, sometimes like you, you follow a song, you follow a song, and actually that last minute is crucial because you decide in these three minutes when you watch Eurovision, you decide halfway through, am I going to switch off and talk to a friend? Am I gonna switch off, go in and, and get a drink? Um, you can't allow your audience to do that. There's enough here to keep someone sitting and listening. But like I said, when it gets to that dance break, and I can just imagine on stage, I'm, I'm not a producer, lights will go down and then they will do something with their dancing. Just pull that chorus. But then with the high, high, um, the high note, and then I, I, my ears aren't that in tune with um, notes. But um, I mean, was it a key change? Because it seems to go, oh, oh, um, see, out of tune. Um, if it was a key change, great. <laughs> but nonetheless, that, that, oh, like, and then it goes boom into that last chorus. Um, there's enough going on at the end of that to, for someone to say there, sit, and at the end be like, oh, I really enjoyed that. And you know they're going to sell it on stage at Rotterdam as well. They are, as I said, from my experience of seeing the, the Hasta La Vista last year in the national final, like these girls can sing, they can sing live, they can put on a performance, and I'm glad they're coming back with, with a decent song um, because, yeah, I love Sanya, so all the best for Sanya and obviously, and Hurricane. <laughs> um, but yeah, I enjoyed that and I will download that. Um, it is gonna be added to my Eurovision 2021 playlist, the songs that I will listen to when I'm out and about. Um, so yeah, thank you, um, because I was a little bit nervous um, because I really, I am behind Hurricane and because I did like Casa La Vista, I was apprehensive whether they'd be able to come back with as good or even better song. So um, it is within that same uh, genre, the same, and also same quality of, of the song last year. So thank you. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, please do let me know what you think. Um, please do um, engage with me through the chat options below. Um, and please do subscribe to the, the, the channel to support my Eurovision 2021 Eurovision reaction review journey that I'm currently on. Um, and yeah, good luck, Serbia. <laughs> and until next time, take care. I don't know if I do really, really like this song. A bit at the beginning, yes, obviously cheesy, but it does give context to the song. That is so much more, more better because, so much more better? Is that English? So much better. The moment, all right? And actually sometimes songs at Eurovision are saved in that last minute. How am I gonna kind of, do a kind of top 10 predicting how who's going to get out of semi-final one. It's going to be an absolute bloodbath.